how are you all i hope that you all are doing great in today's video we're gonna be covering climate in one shot all the topics of this chapter i'll be covering in this video all the concepts so let us begin yeah so first of all what do you understand by climate okay we are uh, usually you know listen we are I mean, usually hear the term climate a lot what is climate okay so according to me first let me tell according to me uh, climate it is the uh, sum of the total weather conditions of a place means it is the sum of total weather conditions of a place conditions of a place right or yeah is the sum of the total weather conditions of a place or it's a climate refers to a large area to the uh to the you know it refers to the sum of the total weather conditions of a place not a place but uh, of a large area of a large area for a long period of time for a long time uh say suppose 30 to 40 years right that's my climate now let's see what is written here in the book it is written that climate is the sum of the total weather conditions of a, of a large area for a long period of time. Yes, almost same as I said, right? So see, what is climate? Climate, it's the sum, right? Here I'm talking about the sum. We have the weather. We'll study about it in the next slide. So we have so many, when we have so many weather, we combine the weather of all, you know, we combine all the weather and we get the climate. So basically, it's the sum of total weather conditions of a large area for a long period of time. Now, I'll explain you in detail when we study about weather. What about weather? Right, I just said weather. Uh, now, according to me, weather, it is uh, something like day-to-day -day atmospheric changes, right? Day-to-day -day changes in the temperature, right? Like, for example, you wake up in the morning, it's so pleasant, but then it comes the afternoon and it is extremely hot. And then in the evening, it suddenly starts raining. Oh my God, so many differences, right? So this whole the change in atmosphere change in atmosphere kabhi barish ho rahi hai kabhi it's extremely cold kabhi it's pleasant that is called weather okay so the change in atmosphere atmosphere mein kya kya changes aate hain that is what my uh, so see weather it is the state of atmosphere let me just clean the board so see weather it is the state of atmosphere at any place okay and it's for a very short duration like day to day different hota hai like in the morning you feel pleasant but in the same afternoon it becomes extremely hot in the evening, it starts raining suddenly. In the night, it becomes extremely cold. So these are the changes in the weather. Right? You ask Siri or you ask Google that. What's the weather forecast? What do you mean by that? What is the state of atmosphere? What's the state of atmosphere? So like currently, it is cold outside because it's February going on. Is the month of February. So, I'm not talking about season right now. So, see. Right now, according to my area, my weather would be very much different from the weather in other places. Say, for example, I live uh, 
Let's take any place. Uh, I live in Tamil Nadu. And uh, you might be living in, uh, say, uh, what do you say that? Yeah, Rajasthan, let's take, okay? Month of Feb. Okay? Now, in Tamil Nadu, different places would have different weather. Different places would have different weather, right? Place A would have a different weather. I think so. Not at all, but yes, if you are living in an extremely different area, it, the weather, it depends on your three main things. First of all, temperature, basically two things, temperature and precipitation. Okay, temperature, if it's more warm, the weather will be automatically very hot. Similarly, if something changes, if it's a little cold, that's all your weather, right? Okay? So, it would, weather in Tamil Nadu would be very much different from the weather in Rajasthan right now. Right? That is why we ask, we never ask that was the weather of India. No, never. We always ask that what's the weather of Jharkhand? What's the weather of New Delhi? What's the weather of uh, Punjab? Right? So, we ask like this. We never say that, uh, hey, Siri, please tell what's the weather of India. Never. Now, let me tell you the difference. As I told you, weather, it refers, this weather refers to the short term period. It refers to a short term, short term time. Let's say uh, approximately, if I say two to three hours, kabhi kabhi two to three, uh, three days ho jata hai, kabhi kabhi uh, weeks, two to three weeks. Chika, that all depends on the weather, kaisa hai weather. Chika, the weather, weather is for a short term. Chika? How? Yeah, two to three hours ko aega, suve barish, raat ko jhan. Two to three days ka hooga, ek day mein particular ek hi rai rai, like it's very hot. Two to three weeks, ek particular time ho rai. Right? So that's what my weather. But, agar mein add karu, Tamil Nadu ka weather. I add West Bengal ka weather. I add Upar Rajasthan ka weather. I add Delhi ka weather. I add the Nijal, let's take any other thing. Okay, grab it up. अब इन सब का वेदर ऐड करके मेरी पूरी इंडिया का क्लाइमेट आता है मेरी पूरी इंडिया का क्लाइमेट आता है एडिंग ऑल दिस राइट सो इंडिया का क्लाइमेट कैसा है इंडिया का क्लाइमेट इज अ मॉनसून इट्स अ मॉनसून टाइप क्लाइमेट बहुत बारिश होती है इंडिया में स्पेशली इन द ईस्टर्न साइड ऑफ इंडिया Right? My nice serum. We'll study further. It's the, uh, it, it's that area where it rains for about 400 centimeters. I mean, more than 400 centimeters it rains over there. Right? Whereas we have some places like Rajasthan where it, uh, you know, rains less than 60 centimeters. Right? Whereas we have some places uh, like, uh, let's take New Delhi. Where it rains average, it goes between 600 to 100 meters. Right? So, you know, such a great difference of rainfall. This is the monsoonal climate of India. Right? So, India ka climate kaisa hai? It's a monsoon type. And India ka climate change nahi hoi ga. Maybe it will, but it, climate jo hai na India ka, it is fixed. The climate of India is fixed. Okay, it will remain fixed and it is fixed from past 30 years, we can say, right? Because the climate of a place refers to a larger area. It's a very big area, no? India goes for about 3.28 million square kilometers. Yeah, it's very much from that of weather as well, yeah? Huh? So, climate is very much in the place and, oops, I dropped my, just a minute, yes. So, a climate, it refers to the, you know, the, yes, it refers to the, that weather. It refers to the sum of all the weather. It refers to the sum of all the weathers, right? Over a large area, for a long period of time, right? I hope now you got the difference between weather 
and climate. weather and climate and that is seasons seasons kya hota hai what do we mean by seasons so seasons it refers to the monthly atmospheric conditions It refers to the monthly atmospheric conditions. Uh, uh, for example, month major changes are there. Um, for example, uh, let's take uh, Jan, not Jan, um, December to Feb. Okay. In months, may ek specific weather hota hai. In months, may December and Feb ke beech mein ek you know, it what do I say that it's specific kind of weather hota hai, jisko hum kehte hai season. Same, har saal hota hai na, kabhi December and Feb ke beech mein garmi to nahi hui, right? It is fixed, right? Into months ke beech mein fixed, you know, it fixed time pe, it fixed month ke duration pe, it fixed type of weather hota hai. Let's come to uh, March and April. It's very season. Mein. It becomes extremely hot. It becomes extremely. Right. Her style of day. It repeats every year. So, in ko kya kya de? Na to ye weather hai. Kyuki week se upar chala gaya. And same bhi hai. Na to mein isko climate kya sakte ho. Duration kam hai. Years to hai nahi hai. Kya kongi? Seasons. They are known as seasons. So, if you have to describe them, what is a season? How do you describe? You will say that a season is a monthly atmospheric condition. Right? I hope it is clear till here. Right. So, let us... Uh, season. Right? You know? We just discussed. Season, it is the state of atmosphere in a pattern for several, not days, but for several days or month, right? Let's come to more, uh, yeah, climatic controls. If it is clear to hear, if you want to mention in the comments below, so that I'll get to know that uh, it's, it's clear to you. Okay, climatic controls. Climatic controls basically naam se kya pata chal rai? There are, uh, chal, wait, climatic controls. Wo cheeze that controls the climate, right? The factors, the factors that control the climate. The factors that control the climate of a place. Factors that control the climate of the place. Henna. So, basically there are six major factors that control the climate of any place. Right? Koi bhi place ho, Jammu, Kashmir, Ladakh, your Rajasthan, Gujarat, anywhere in the world. Six major factors. They control, they control the climate of any place. And uh, let's read about them. Oh. Yes. So here they are. Right, so here, climatic controls. There are six major climatic controls. Latitude, 
altitude, pressure and wind systems, ocean currents, relief features and the distance from the sea or continentality. Uh, is this clean clear to everyone? I hope it is. Okay. So... What do I mean by latitude? Latitude we all know our, uh, our earth. See, latitudes they go like this. Like this. Like this. These are the latitudes, okay? And it's very important lesson. Here is my sun, for example. And the sun rays, they come like so. Now, dekho, jo si latitude either hoegi, jo sun ke zada near hoegi latitude, that will get the more sunlight. Means it will get more heat. Zada heat hoegi. Right? So, jaha par sabse zada you know, like sun ki jaha sabse zada rays padegi. Wahi par sabse zada heat hoegi. Kaha da hai earth pe? At the equators. Hai na? At the equators sabse zada heat hoti hai. Right? Why? All because of the latitudes. Right? So, equators pe sabse zada lights ki ho. I mean, lights are amazing. Equators pe sabse zada heat rays ki hoti hai. It is because of the latitudes. It lies the center. It lies at the center. Right? So, yahan pe sun hota hai. And all the rays, they all come in the center. And it becomes the, you know, it, 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 it becomes very hot part. Right? We also say the tropical zone. Right? I hope latitudes you are clear with. Uh, if you all want the notes for the same, do mention in the comments below because you can see. See, I'm keeping my notes and I'm, you know, side by side also referring from here as well. So if you want these notes, do mention in the comments. I'll give it to you. Latitude clear hai. Latitude ke baad aata hai altitude. What do I mean by altitude? Altitude. Matlab height. Altitude matlab height. And what height? Right. Uh, say um, there's one place. It is a uh, uh, mountains. Okay. A place, a hilly region. A hilly region would be comparatively more colder. Right? A hilly region would be comparatively more colder than a desert area. See, as you rise up, as you rise up from the surface of earth, Understanding? The more you go up, the lower the temperature goes. So, you have height the height of Mount Everest. It would be extremely cold over there. It would be extremely cold over there. Why? Because it is located at the height, it is located at the altitude. It's located at the highest altitude in the world. It is, right, 8,484. I don't remember exact thing. The height of Mount Everest, right? The, are you understanding? More the altitude, lower the temperature is, right? So, I can say altitude also plays a very, very important role in uh, determining the 
climate of a place right okay next pressure and wind systems ab dekho pressure and wind systems bahut important hai pressures ho they have ke two types ke let me explain it over uh here See, I'll explain you the types of pressure and that on over here. Look, pressures two types ke hote hain. High pressure and low pressure. High pressure and low pressure. High pressure kya hota hai? Say this is my surface, right? Basically. Up in a simple language, I'll explain this pressure in very much detail. Aage, just for your simple knowledge, understand that high pressure refers to cool. ठीक है ठंडा. ठंड जब होती है, high pressure होता है वहाँ पे. Low pressure क्या होता है? जहाँ गर्मी होती है. Hot, warm, warm. Okay? जब गर्मी होती है, ताज़े low pressure. जब ठंडा होता है, ताज़े high pressure. Cool. Now. The winds, winds. Have you heard? Moving air, moving air. Winds, very important as chapter. So just think, winds, moving air. How much is it? The air always flows from a high pressure to a low pressure. Always. Biology, we have learned this in osmosis. Water. It. Transports from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. In the same way, when winds blow, करती हैं, जब winds चलती हैं, तब winds always they move from a higher pressure to a lower pressure. जहाँ ठंड होती है, वहाँ से हवा चलके lower pressure में जाती है. Air, wind, right? Again, I don't know about it. Okay, so don't mind it. I hope it's not clear. Hai. This is the basic. Just understand it, and once you understand ye wala na pressure wala, this chapter would become very simple for you. I'm telling you, very simple. Because this chapter humko yehi padna hai. Winds blow kaise karti hai? Then uski vajay se monsoon aata hai India mein. Very interesting chapter. Just see. Okay. So I hope you heard it. You heard it's clear. High pressure. High pressure. मतलब जब ठंड होती है, obviously air जो है, बैठ जाएगी नीचे snow के form में. ठंड होएगी माउंटेन्स की बात कर लो वहां पे ठंड होती है द एयर इट सेटल्स डाउन पर अब बन के एयर सेटल्स डाउन देन वो वाली जो ठंडी एयर है उसको जब अट्रैक्शन मिलती है लोअर प्रेशर से लोअर प्रेशर एक अट्रैक्शन क्रिएट करता है इट क्रिएट्स अ फोर्स तो ये बिंस ठंडी जगह से गर्म जगह पर दे मूव दे मूव फ्रॉम अ हायर प्रेशर टू अ लोअर प्रेशर Remember it. It's very important. Okay. Oh. Okay. So here now. Let me clear this whiteboard. Pressure and wind systems, it's clear. Now, one thing more to understand. India, me, you have western cyclonic disturbances. You have tropical cyclones. You have the tropical cyclones and. Circulations. Upper air circulations, lower air circulations, and uh, this much only. And they call surface winds. Okay. You have these four: western cyclonic disturbances. Tropical cyclones, upper air circulation, and surface winds. Now, let's take a look at it. 
This is my India, okay? Oh, this is electronic disturbances. They are the disturbances basically. Aise aise airs, aise 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 move karti aati hai from the Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea se jo winds hai na wo aise aise blow karti karti India ke north pe aa jati hai. Jab winters chal rahi hoti hai, jab winters chal rahi hoti hai, to jo ki hai na ye. Western cyclonic disturbances को समझो तो यार तो Western cyclonic disturbances basically ये वो disturbances हैं जो हवा जो बहुत तेज वाली winds चलती हैं ये कहाँ से कहाँ चलती हैं Mediterranean Sea से चलती हैं India की तरफ अब India के जब ये northern part पे आती है ये basically north western part पे आती है ये वाले part पे ठीक है कहाँ कहाँ आती है ये it 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 affects Jammu and Kashmir it affects Jammu and Kashmir it affects Delhi, it affects Haryana, it affects Punjab. It affects the effect of this western cyclone disturbance is like this. And here there is a very heavy rainfall. Not that heavy, but yes, rainfall is like a good one. Okay? Western cyclonic disturbance. So, see, the western cyclonic disturbance is like India. रेन पॉल होती है, because they bring huge amount of you know what do I say that सी से आ रही है, obviously water carry करेगी, and water carry कर रही है मतलब moisture है and बारिश होगी, ठीक है western cyclonic disturbance world के west side Mediterranean सी से India में आती है and they cause rainfall in the north western parts of India. फिर आते हैं tropical cyclones. This is my India. जब मॉनसून जाता है ना यूल रीड इट लेटर व्हेन द मॉनसून गोज मतलब जब आईटीसीजेड वाली जो बेल्ट होती है आईटीसीजेड बली बेल्ट ना यू डोंट नो व्हाट इस आईटीसी वे आईटीसीजेड आई विल टेल यू व्हाट दैट लेटर बेसिकली अभी के लिए समझो जब हीट जब गर्मी आईटीसीजेड मतलब इंडिया के सेंटर से इट जब वो जाती है, it reaches over here. It comes in way of Bengal. This icy season comes in way of Bengal. Okay. Now when it comes, these winds, this heat, आ जाती है यहाँ पे. And up, sea के अंदर, ocean के अंदर basically बस. यहाँ पे एक low pressure बन जाता है. I told you low pressure. हाई प्रेशर की विंस को अट्रैक्ट करता है, तो यहाँ पे मेरी हाई प्रेशर है, हाई प्रेशर टू लो प्रेशर, राइट? ऐसे ही होता है हाई प्रेशर टू लो प्रेशर, राइट? सो अब बेसिकली होता क्या है? अब देखो, इंडिया में जब ये हीट ऑब्वियस अगर मैं इंडिया से चली जाएगी, इंडिया में विंटर आ जाएंगी, ठीक है दिसंबर जान India में it's winters, winters okay, winters चल रही है। अब यहाँ पे गर्मी हो रही है, यहाँ पे low pressure है। India में because ठंडे कौन सा pressure होएगा? High pressure होएगा obviously, high pressure to low pressure, ठीक है? अब ये winds जाती हैं ऐसे, बढ़ती हैं ऐसे ऐसे। अब अब क्या होता है? जब winds हिलने लग जाती हैं ना sea में, क्या होता है? Coriolis force. What is Coriolis force? Earth का force. जिससे हर चीज घुटती है, right? If I throw this pen, if I'm standing here and throw this pen to there, it will not go सीधा. It will go टेढ़ा टेढ़ा होकर और it will reach somewhere here. ठीक है, तो that's what my Coriolis force. Earth का round and round force जो एक चीज को object को straight travel नहीं होने देगा. So क्या होगा? If this is my ocean, ठीक है? यहाँ पे winds चल रही हैं. IT season जब यहाँ पे shift हो चुका है, यहाँ पे बहुत गर्मी हो रही है seas में, तो sea में पानी उभरेगा, I mean it will और वैसे रात चा जो water है, it will it will start now, you know, this it will start accumulating, it will start forming a cyclones. It will start making a cyclone. It will move very fast. Together, that was where I was coming from. It will move very fast. 
ठीक है तो इट विल इट विल मूव वेरी फास्ट वाटर एंड क्या हुआ इट विल ये इंडिया के कोस्ट पे होता है देखो यहाँ पे यहाँ पे ना ये बहुत बड़ा साइक्लोन बनने वाला है बहुत गुस्सा आ रहा है इसी को बिकॉज ही इज वेरी एंग्री अरे यहां से दिस साइक्लोन विल रीच द कोस्ट एंड क्या होगा इमेजिन डिस्ट्रक्शन 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 पूरे कोस्ट पे पूरे कोस्ट पे तबाही मच जाएगी इल बी लाइक वट हैज हैपन बहुत बड़ा झटका आने वाला है कोस्टल वाले को See, this is my coast and coast pe, yaha pe, here is my, you know, cyclone. It's coming, it's coming, and yaha pe it will create a massive destruction. It will create a massive destruction, and this will cause a loss. It will cause a big loss to the loss of property, loss of you know everything. Obviously, natural disaster. It's such a bad thing, right? So these are my cyclones. Cyclones, you know, they're very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Now after this, see? So how can the cyclone also affect India's climate? Did you know? India has sadness on the coastal areas. You know, full destruction. Upper air circulation and the lower air circulation. See what happens. If this is my surface, and here's my high pressure, here's my low pressure. The winds, they will go, uh, they will blow from higher pressure to a lower pressure. ठीक है? After some times, यहाँ पे low pressure पे heat है, है ना? लो प्रेशर पे इट्स वेरी मच हीट हो गया क्या होगा यहां से जो भी एयर यहां पे आई थी हाई प्रेशर से इट विल इवेपोरेट इवेपोरेट ओके कहां मूव करेगी दिस साइड एंड इट विल कम बैक टू हाई प्रेशर राइट ठंड होगी यहां पे इट सेटल डाउन हाई प्रेशर देन लो प्रेशर देन ये साइकिल जो चलता है इसको हम कहते हैं अपर एयर सर्कुलेशन यूएसए अपर एयर सर्कुलेशन ये होता है हमारे ट्रोप में इक्वेटर पे नॉट इक्वेटर एवरीवेयर ठीक है जहां भी लो प्रेशर होता है हाई प्रेशर होता है एयर में सर्कुलेशन चल रही होती है ठीक है दिस इज माय अपर एयर सर्कुलेशन आफ्टर दैट आई हैव माय सरफेस क्वेंस Winds to surface पे चलती हैं। The winds that blow इसमें हमारे पास बहुत सारी आती हैं। We have the trade winds, very very important. We have the trade winds. Which trade winds now? Okay, we have the north east trade winds. We have the south west trade winds, and we have many more. So these are the winds that blow along the surface. That's why we see them. Surface winds. So I hope that this concept of pressure and wind systems is clear to you. If yes, hit the like button. Okay. Moving on. Next topic is ocean current. Not topic. The next factor which determines or which controls the climate of a place is ocean currents. What do I mean by ocean currents? Do not go by looking at the term. It 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 it's nothing related with currents. Ocean currents, basically, when water in ocean it moves now. Water is moving. That's my ocean current. My water in an ocean it's moving. Ocean currents. Nothing. It's only this is what called ocean currents. Very simple, right? So basically, the moving water in the oceans is by ocean currents. Now, ocean currents can be classified into two types: the uh, the warm ocean currents and the cold ocean currents. If you talk about the warm ocean currents, what are the warm ocean currents? Uh, let's take example of any uh, 
basically then in an ocean warm water it flows whenever in an ocean warm water water it flows na that is known as warm ocean currents whereas if you talk about the cold ocean currents when cold water is uh, flowing cold water it's flowing that's my cold currents right so ocean currents are also very important they also determine the climate of a place how let's see wait say for example uh, here i have some country uh, okay and here is my ocean okay any ocean and now we hear if there is a warm ocean currents jab yahan pe warm currents hai the water will evaporate theek hai due to warm water will evaporate and yahan pe bahut zyada rain hogi it will rain a lot in these areas it will rain heavily due to warm ocean currents whereas if i talk about the cold ocean currents in the cold cold ocean currents kya hota hai this is my country here cold ocean currents are uh, flowing then koi evaporation nahi hoga because the water is very cold then no evaporation means no water coming in it will lead to dryness example is india rajasthan usually i'll tell you one thing why question why are the western why are the western parts of world dry think giving a time of 2 minutes think Okay, time's up. So basically, why get to so many Western countries? That the Western countries of the world, they are more hot because cold ocean currents. Because of the cold ocean currents, mostly if you if you look at the world map, cold ocean currents they flow over there. And I've made a question to you. अगर कोल्ड क्वेश्चन करेंट्स होंगे तो वो नो इवेपोरेशन मीन्स इट वुड रिमेन ड्राई ओवर देयर एंड यस नो रेन नो नथिंग नो इवेपोरेशन ड्राईनेस दैट विल कॉज टू ड्राईनेस यू नो ड्राईनेस हीट एग्जांपल राजस्थान एंड इंडिया एंड ऑल द वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आर अ गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ द ओशन करेंट्स The next topic is the relief feature. We all know relief; they are very important because just now we read about the mountains, right? Different relief uh, feature of different area would define a different climate, right? Like a higher area, a higher area. of uh, mountains high area of mountains uh, would be more colder than compared to the flat desert plains of rajasthan i am dropping my mark at the end don't mind everyone like deserts in rajasthan right so relief features are very important give the example of himalayas the best example ever for any relief question yes last but not the least distance from the sea continentality you might have you know listened heard that the coastal regions the coastal regions are moderate in temperature they are moderate how are they moderate why do they have a moderate temperature if a, a person living in uh, delhi a person living in delhi 
foot face extreme temperature sorry extreme climate right the person would experience extreme climate over there as compared to a person living here in mumbai both the countries are same you know both of them are very famous but why is delhi not that much preferred as mumbai is reason number 1 and the most appropriate reason that mumbai lies on the coast means mumbai which lies here on the coast it has a moderate temperature again moderate climate it has a moderate climate now the question arises why okay okay if it is near the sea why it is near the sea okay fine if it's near the sea but why is it having a moderate temperature moderate climate right this is the question and it is because because let me draw here this is my land this is my sea my sea or the water जब डे हो रहा होता है वेन इट इज डे डे के टाइम पे लैंड गेट्स एक्सट्रीमली हॉट बट वॉटर को टाइम लगता है सो अभी वॉटर अभी कूल है ड्यूरिंग द नाइट वॉटर ने बहुत हीट एब्सॉर्ब करी तो वॉटर हैज एब्सॉर्ब हैज एब्सॉर्ब अ लॉट ऑफ हीट राइट अब क्या टाइम है वॉटर का होने का टाइम एंड लैंड का कूल होने का टाइम दिस इज माई लैंड एंड इट इज कूल ड्यूरिंग द नाइट देर एज दिस वॉट इट इज हॉट ड्यूरिंग दिस इज द रीजन वाई मुंबई इज मोर प्रेफर दैन दिल्ली ओके आई एम नॉट पार्शियल एथिंग बोथ द सीरीज आर गुड बोथ द सीरीज आर यू नो अमेजिंग बट बट Mumbai is more preferred because it lies on the coast and it has a moderate, moderate, think temperature. I mean climate, moderate and climate. With this, we complete our climatic controls. Okay, cool, very good. Okay. Yes, I know. I take a lot of time to cover, but yes, I explain. Nice. So, what are the factors that affect India's climate? The factors affecting India's climate. India का climate कैसा है? India's climate is monsoonal type. है ना? India का climate is monsoonal type climate. Why is it so? because these three things these three factors affect the climate of india pressure on wind systems abhi maine padhaya the pressure on wind systems the next altitude altitude very important huh? okay himalayas 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 they prevent himalayas prevent the uh, cold Are the harmful winds that blow from uh, Central Asia in India? They stop. They, the, the Himalayas, they act as a barrier and they stop, and they stop the cold winds, right? Oh, uh, and uh, if I talk about the pressure and the wind systems, India may, India maybe we have winds blowing, okay? इंडिया में यूजली नॉर्थ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड्स मूव होती हैं। आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू दैट देन यू गेट नो ठीक है इंडिया में नॉर्थ ईस्ट नॉर्थ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड्स ब्लो करती हैं, राइट विच या सम विंड्स दे ब्रिंग लाइक दिस ऐसे तो कोई रेन नहीं होगी बिकॉज दे आर ड्राई सम रेन दे कम फ्रॉम सी टू दिस कैरिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मॉइस्चर Which brings a heavy rainfall in India. So, ये बहुत important है. And the last, 
latitude. India may say Tropic of Cancer divides India into almost two equal halves. We all know that. Right? Due to which the northern part of India faces a subtropical climate, whereas the southern part it experiences a tropical climate. Hey! Factors affecting India's climate down this chapter is very, very lengthy. See, concept of pressures. I told you that I'll explain you in detail. Concept of pressure. Take the pressures are of two types. We have a high pressure. We have a low pressure. A high pressure, what happens as I told you? If this is my earth and it is very cold over here, the air will settle, will settle down in the form of snow. Correct? The air will settle down in the form of snow. Then I have my low pressure. Jab sun ki light rays padte hai. किसी भी एरिया पे वहाँ पर गर्मी हो जाती है एंड जो भी वाटर होता है या जो एयर होती है इट स्टार्ट्स इवैपोरेटिंग एंड जब एयर ड्राइज होके इवैपोरेट हो जाती है ये जो खाली एरिया एयर इवैपोरेट होगी and the khali area bacha hai yaha pe jo high pressure se bends hai wo aake isko le leti hai high pressure bani bends yaha pe achche se rehe hai but sun ki rays padke it becomes too hot that these also evaporate and this process continues okay I hope till here it's clear. Now we will discuss about the different types of winds. The different winds. If if this is my earth and here my equator passes on. Okay. This is my earth and here my equator passes on. I have some winds that blow like this. Okay, wait, let me tell you from the start. I know the background voices, you know. They usually come. So, see, this is my equator at zero degrees. Now, uh... Usually, according to you, the winds should blow like this, right? And the winds from the south will go like this. So, let's see. But first question, why? Why are they blowing? Let me tell you. The central region, the central region, the central trope of India is the ITCZ. Intertropical Convergence Zone, IDCZ. Here, sun ki direct rays they come. Aise. And is trough ko itna, they make it very hot. These uh, sun rays that uh, they uh, move from the sun, they enter in this trough called ITCZ, that is inter- let me write it. Intertropical convergence zone. Intertropical convergence zone. Okay. So the winds, they all 
यू नो दे कन्वर्ज इन दिस जोन तभी हमने इस फाइव टी सी सेट का है इंटर इन बिटवीन ट्रॉपिकल बिकॉज इट्स इन द ट्रॉपिकल जोन कन्वर्जेंस बिकॉज ऑल दीज रेज नॉट रेज द विंग दे कन्वर्ज जो ओके अब बिकॉज यहां तो यहां पर बहुत बहुत होता है मतलब यहां पर लो प्रेशर बनता है right and these two are coming from the high pressure high pressures high pressure to low pressure high pressure to low pressure aisa kuch hona chahiye but aisa kuch nahi hota hai i mean the winds they do not blow seedha abhi maine aapko a few minutes ago i told you about the coriolis force when seedha murne i mean welcome aane ki jagah they bend if i am moving here i will bend towards my right if i am coming from the south i'll bend towards my left so the winds coming from the north they bend to east side tabhi hum isko north east kehte hain north is straight winds and jo wind south se aati hai wo apne they bend to the left to the west north west from west so right kyu hoti hai ye bend i told you because of the coriolis force because of the coriolis force the winds they change their direction they get a bit tilted and they converge on this beautiful zone called itc is at the intertropical convergence zone okay so this was all the concept of different winds so i told you the winds that blow from northern and on as north east trade winds the winds bring from south and on as south east southwest trade winds so yep now the question is what are jet streams what are jet streams so jet streams these are the streams they are they are the high altitude high altitude wind blows stream me jo extreme me bahut you know uh, in in a very high velocity the winds they move in a very high velocity or a very high speed that 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 uh, that stream is known as the jet streams and there are variations in them also like see over here in my notes i've written in very much detail about them like yeah first of all so they kitni height pe move karti hai about 1000 meters above okay about 1200 meters not 10 12 about 1200 meters these winds blow in a very high velocity and maine kaha tha they also uh, you know their speeds varies in summers the speed becomes 110 kilometers per hour and in winter it becomes more faster So does something happen in winter? It becomes more faster. Winds, the winds, they 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 start moving very fast in winters. In winters, their speed is one eighty four kilometers per hour. Okay. I hope jet streams is clear to you.
monsoon. My favorite drop in this chapter. This Indian monsoon is the very, 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 very important topic of this chapter. You have to read this. If you don't want to read this whole chapter, just read Indian monsoon and seasons. They are, they both are the, 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 the most important topic. So let us do. It will take around one hour for us to do this as well. So, let us begin. Monsoon means Barish. Ab dekho. These are only uh, seven points. Only seven points which tell you ki India me मॉनसून आने के लिए क्या क्या कंडीशंस होते हैं कौन कौन से कंडीशंस डेवलप हो जाते हैं फॉर मॉनसून विंड्स टू एंटर इंडिया सो बेसिकली सबसे पहला कंडीशन क्या होता है द सन कॉजेस डिफरेंशियल हीटिंग एंड कूलिंग ऑफ द लैंड एंड वाटर this creates a low pressure on the land of India and a high pressure on the ocean areas. So, just a minute, let me just check. Are you all able to see? Is the, I mean, the board clear to you all? Okay. I hope it will be better now. Because I zoomed in. So, see. Sun ki baja se. It causes a low pressure on India landmass and a high pressure on the oceans. Oceans may bohat high pressure hota hai and India pe low pressure ban jata hai. Why? Because of the sun. Sun. Exactly sun. Now, I'm going to high to low. So, the winds, they blow from here. High pressure. To the low pressure. And, use your logic. When these winds will blow from the ocean to the landmass, they will carry the moisture with them. He will carry moisture with him. Obvious, right? Now, when we moisture carry moisture with us, we will cause the rain. We will cause the rain. It's very obvious. So, is the first point clear? Because the sun is very cold, the India's land mass is very cold, and the ocean is very cold. Because of which, high to low, and it causes a rain for the India. Number two, the intertropical convergence zone is normally positioned about above five degrees north of the equator. It shifts over the Ganga plain during the summer. It is also known as the monsoon trough during the monsoon season. Deco, ID season batai mein aapko, ID season. ID season jo hai, it moves. India ke Ganga Plains mein. Ganga Plains ka hai? North West part mein India ke. So, aise idhar garmi pad jati hai. To yaani ki Ganga Plains pe ek low pressure ban jata hai. Right? And maslab ye bata rahe ki jo ye trough hai, jo ye ITCZ wali jo belt hai ITCZ ki jo belt hai ये आ जाती है यहाँ पे ITCZ के बेल क्या समझो आप सन की रेस ठीक है सन रेस जो है वो कहाँ जाती है Oh my God It reaches the Ganga Plains सन की रेस ITCZ आ जाती है यहाँ पे Right It comes to be here अब क्या हो रहा है Obviously low pressure रेस होगा And 
बारिश होएगी एंड इस ट्रफ को वी ऑल्सो से मॉनसून ट्रफ ड्यूरिंग मॉनसून सीजन ओके नाउ ऑब्वियस है यहां पे जो गंगा प्लेन्स पे ये लो प्रेशर बनेगा आईटीसी से शिफ्ट होएगा तो जितनी भी विंड्स है ऐसे नहीं कि साउथ से भी आ रही है विंड्स भाई नॉर्थ से भी आ रही है विंड्स ठीक है ऑब्वियसली बारिश होएगी इंडिया में नेक्स्ट आता है पॉइंट नंबर ये तो टू पॉइंट नंबर 3 हाई प्रेशर ऑन द ईस्ट ऑफ मडगास्कर इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली 20 साउथ ओवर द इंडियन ओशन इट अफेक्ट्स द इंडियन मॉनसून ठीक है अब क्या होता है ये इंडिया का कॉन्टिनेंट है मैडागास्कर यहां पे एक आइलैंड है ओके समवेयर हियर फार फ्रॉम इंडिया ओके अब क्या होता है यहां पे इट सेज अ हाई प्रेशर डेवलप्स ओवर हियर हाई प्रेशर यहां पे डेवलप हो जाता है इंडिया पे लो प्रेशर हो जाता है हाई टू लो हाई टू लो ओवर हाई सेट बारिश होएगी इंडिया में ठीक है वेरी सिंपल देखा कहा था ना एक हाई प्रेशर का कांसेप्ट समझ लो हाई प्रेशर लो प्रेशर चैप्टर वुड बी अ पीस ऑफ केक फॉर यू वेल द टिबेटन प्लेटो गेट्स इंटेंसली हीटेड ड्यूरिंग द समर दिस रिजल्ट्स इन स्ट्रांग वर्टिकल करंट सो आई एम फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लो प्रेशर ओवर द प्लेटो the low pressure zone is about 9 km is about to see here to so see ah uh, india yahan pe hai and here lies the tibetan plateau theek hai the tibetan plateau it gets intensely heated during the summer due to which it forms a low pressure on itself and 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 and, and, and. इधर ओशंस पे गैन हाई प्रेशर है, राइट? हाई प्रेशर टू लो प्रेशर, द विंड्स द ब्लो, राइट? इसे क्लियर? हाई टू लो, हाई टू लो, यही हो रहा है मेन बता रही है कभी किस जगह पे अगर हाई प्रेशर बढ़ रहा है तो किस पे लो हो जाते हैं एंड यू टू व्हिच बारिश होती है, राइट? दिस इज़ व्हाट यू नो द लॉजिक over the Indian Peninsula, yeah, a uh, very important thing. India may jab jet stream bataya na, to both high altitude mein, uh, streams blow karti hai, with a very high velocity. To jab ye blow karti hai na, over Himalayas, they get split into two. Ek upar vari ho jati hai, divide and ek nature vari. I also have this in my notes, wait, let me show you. Hmm. Actually, I've written everything in my notes, so I would like to show you. Okay, but I've not drawn the diagram over here. No problem. Hmm. I had it. Okay, so anyways, I'm not able to find that page on which I wrote the division of these jet streams. Oh, okay, no problem, I'm not able to find it. Yes, see. If uh, you are able to see the jet streams blowing towards towards Himalayas gets deflected into two. One blows above the Himalayas and one to the south of Himalayas. Then over here, the jet stream, are you able to see? Jet stream blowing to the north of Himalaya is called subtropical jet stream, easterly jet stream, and the one blowing to the south of Himalayas is subtropical Westerly jet stream, right? जब वो two parts में divide हो जाती है, जो जो jet stream ऊपर पे हो रही होती है, उसको north 
ईस्ट जेट स्ट्रीम कहते हैं और जो साउथ में होती है उसको कहते हैं साउथ वेस्ट जेट स्ट्रीम ईस्टर्ली ये नीचे वाली वेस्ट होगी ऊपर वाली ईस्ट होगी फाइन क्या आई ड्रॉप्ड माय मार्कर अगेन I don't know rocks में किसी अंग को एक टाइम में तो drop ना mark और rocket drop okay so then the periodic change in the pressure conditions between Pacific Ocean and Southern Ocean is known as Southern Oscillations so okay Southern Oscillations and El Nino El Nino E N S O very important maybe the question will come I'm not sure the southern oscillation होता क्या है basically यहाँ पे हमारा Indian Ocean होता है and यहाँ पे हमारा Pacific Ocean है जब दोनों में pressure changes होते हैं like कभी अगर यहाँ पे Pacific Ocean पे high pressure है और यहाँ पे low pressure है कुछ टाइम बाद यहाँ पे हाई प्रेशर हो जाएगा और यहाँ पे लो प्रेशर हो जाएगा एंड चेंजेस होंगे इस सर्कुलेशन को कहते हैं सर्दन ऑसिलेशन ठीक है ये पूरा होता है सर्दन ऑसिलेशन एंड वन मोर थिंग पेरुवियन कोस्ट एक पेरुवियन कोस्ट यहाँ पे वार्म ओशन करंट को एक कोल्ड ओशन करंट रिप्लेस करता है एंड इसको हम कहते हैं इसको हम कहते हैं एल नीनो एंड इन दोनों क्योंकि ये दोनों एक दूसरे से रिलेटेड है हम इसको कहते हैं ई एन एस ओ एल नीनो सर्दन ऑसिलेशन ओके आई होप इट्स क्लियर टू लिया Okay, we are done with the condition जिस की वजह से होता है मॉनसून। Now let us read about मॉनसून। Some important points and the mechanism of मॉनसून। Basically, हम पढ़ रहे हैं मॉनसून होते कैसे हैं इसी तरह। Okay, the mechanism of मॉनसून या seasonal reversal in winds is called मॉनसून। Seasonal reversal in the wind direction is called मॉनसून विंड डायरेक्शन में जो सीजनल रिवर्सल होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड मॉनसून नंबर टू इंडियन क्लाइमेट इज अ मॉनसून टाइप क्लाइमेट मॉनसून क्लाइमेट इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय वेदर कंडीशन एट चेंज सीजन दिस सीजन दिस टाइप इज मोस्टली एक्सपीरियन इन द इंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री अदर देन कोस्टल एरियाज ठीक है इंटीरियर ऑफ द कंट्री में एक्सट्रीम क्लाइमेट होता है तो During the summer season, as the land gets heated up, the air rises and the low pressure area is created on the land. On the other hand, a high pressure is created on the Indian Ocean. Air moves from a high to lower pressure. The lower pressure tracks sandy straight winds for other crops in the equator. For your response, the wind turns to the right and the turn of the Indian Ocean. Right? I told you, India, if you This is my equator, and यहाँ से जो winds आ रही हैं, यहाँ पे low pressure है equator पे, but for your list force की वजह से ये ऐसे turn हो जाती हैं ना ये जो, ये India में enter हो जाती हैं, low pressure create कर देती हैं, यहाँ India में बारिश हो जाती है, and अब देखो, very this this part is very important, listen to it very carefully, basically जो equator के लिए आती है विंड्स वो यहाँ पे तो पहुँच जाती हैं बट कोरियोलिस फोर्स की वजह से कि ऐसी टर्न हो जाती हैं यहाँ पे टर्न टू इंडियन ओशन इंडियन ओ इंडियन ओशन हम से इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट अबे इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट में आ जाती हैं एंटर हो जाती हैं दे एंटर इन द इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट व्हाट हैपन व्हेन दे एंटर Basically, now see here. जब ये Indian Ocean में, Indian subcontinent में enter करती हैं, when the winds they enter, they get divided into two branches. Arabian Sea branch, 
Pay off the whole branch. Arabian sea branch and the yeah the west sorry the Bay of Bengal branch. जो Arabian branch है वो इस side पे चली जाती है इस side पे ठीक है west पे चली जाती है whereas ये वाली इधर जाती है east पे ठीक है हम्म This chapter is very lengthy. अभी only हमने मॉनसून ही यहाँ तक करा. A lot of much is left. Okay. The two branches में divide हो जाती है. As India is surrounded by Bay of Bengal and the East and Arabia on the west, monsoon arrives in Bay of Bengal branch and Arabian Sea branch. Bay of Bengal branch southwest monsoon reaches to the northeast India. बताया था east side पे चली जाती है. Arabian Sea चली जाती है. इस साइड वेस्ट साइड पे चली जाती है सबसे पहले वेस्टर्न घाट को स्ट्राइक करती है केरला में आती है दैट मेक्स इट टू रिसीव द फर्स्ट रेनफॉल फ्रॉम द साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून वाज अ वेस्टर्न साइड यहां वेस्टर्न घाट के केरला में इसके इस वाली साइड पे बहुत हैवी रेनफॉल होती है बहुत हैवी रेनफॉल क्योंकि भाई अभी अभी भाई फ्रेश फ्रेश मॉनसून आया आपने इतनी तेज उसे आपने भाई विंड में ब्लो कर रहा था मैं इतनी तेज उसे टकराई and oh my god heavy heavy rainfall very heavy rainfall the duration of monsoon is between 100 to 120 days by the end of this period low pressure system of the northern northwest india gradually weakens this less to the retreat of monsoon and monsoon is chilling up onset of monsoon let's start the onset of monsoon Generally, the monsoon arrives at the southern tip of the Indian Peninsula by the first week of June. Subsequently, it divides into two branches, Arabia and Bay The Arabian Sea branch reaches Mumbai. For about 10 years later, found in the found around 10th of June, the Bay of Bengal rapidly advances and reaches the sun in the first week of June. यहाँ पे आती है मेरी अरेबियन सी ब्रांच, the अरेबियन सी ब्रांच, it first fall, it strikes the केरला, the west बंगाल, after that it reaches मुंबई, by tenth of June approximately ये वहाँ पे पहुँच जाती है, because by the first week of June मॉनसून आ जाता है भाई इंडिया में, by the tenth of June it comes in मुंबई and causes heavy rainfall. The monsoon winds are then deflected by high mountains and move towards the west of the Ganga Plains. Here the mountain comes here, and then it deflects over the Ganga Plains. Ganga Plains comes here. The Arabian Sea branch of the monsoon arrives to Kutch and central part of the country by mid June. Look, here the most important part of the Bay of Bengal branch was the Bay of Bengal branch. Here it came from the Moinoiserum. Moinoiserum? It's the it's 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 the well it's the part of the country which receives the most rainfall in the country, most most heaviest rainfall in the country, about four hundred centimeter. Basically, about one thousand centimeter. यहाँ पे होती है बारिश sixteen hundred centimeters. Can you imagine it's very high? And its का भी एक reason है that you have to tell me in the comments if you know. Otherwise, I'll tell in my next video. कि only mine is सिर्फ एक यू इतनी बारिश होती है वाइन ऑफ़ इंडिया अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ़ द कंट्री इफ़ यू वांट टू नो द आंसर राइट इट इन द कमेंट्स बिलो दिल्ली यूज़ुअली रिसीव्स मॉनसून शास फ्रॉम बे ऑफ़ बंगाल बाय द एंड ऑफ़ जून ठीक है दिल्ली में जो बारिश होती है बाय एंड ऑफ़ जून वो होती है बिकॉज़ and right इस सब को जो मैं आपको बता रही हूँ इसका advancing monsoon कहते हैं good withdrawal of the monsoon bye bye monsoon withdrawal of the monsoon is a gradual process the northwest the monsoon begins to withdraw from the northwest of so India by early September September से जा रहा होता है monsoon the monsoon which withdraws completely from the northern part of India Indian Peninsula by mid October by mid October, 
the monsoon withdraws completely from the north northern parts of india theek hai mid october tak chala jata hai aadhi parts of india se monsoon withdraws to the rest of the country by early december poli country se monsoon december tak chala jata hai the islands receive first monsoon showers by the first week of april to the first week of may progressive rain from south right islands may be varish hoti hai oh my god seasons not the last the second last chapter of the chapter it's 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 very lengthy chapter i'm telling you in short i mean like i'm telling you in detail but not that detail because it's gonna take me five to six hours if i tell you in that detail well there are four major seasons cold weather season hot weather season advancing monsoon and retreating monsoon cold weather season winters hot weather season summers आपको ये दोनों सीजन्स तो पता थे एडवांसिंग और क्या रिट्रीटिंग ऑल्सो पता था लेट्स रीड अबाउट देम वी गेट टू नो कोल्ड वेदर सीजन विंटर्स यूजुअली द विंटर सीजन बिगिंस फ्रॉम मिड नवंबर एंड स्टेस टिल फेब्रुअरी इन नॉर्दर्न इंडिया दिसंबर एंड जनवरी आर द कोल्डेस्ट मंथ्स इन द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया टेंपरेचर रेंजेस बिटवीन 10 डिग्री टू 15 डिग्री इन द नॉर्दर्न प्लेन्स व्हाइल इट रेंजेस बिटवीन दिस सीजन चेन्नई क्यू चेन्नई पे क्यू होता है इतना because it's near the sea north east winds prevail of the country in this season as these winds blow from the sea from land to sea it dry season hota hai theek hai usually ye wali jo winds hai ye aise blow hoti hai and dry season hota hai barish nahi hoti hai because moisture to hota nahi hai winds mein ye land to sea flow ho rahi hoti hai weather is marked by clear sky at low temperatures and humidity isko october heat bhi kehte hain it's also known as october heat influence of the cyclonic disturbances is characteristic characteristic feature of the northern plains these low pressure is to move melted in right mera bataya tha ab dekho jo western cyclonic disturbances hai na western cyclonic jo mediterranean sea se aati hai mera starting of the chapter bataya tha jo mediterranean sea se jo winds aati hai वो इन विंड्स को वेस्टर्न साइक्लोन डिस्टरबेंस कहते हैं और ये ठंड में दिसंबर के टाइम पे इंडिया के नॉर्दर्न पार्ट में बारिश करवाती है कहां कहां दिल्ली पंजाब जम्मू कश्मीर ओके यहां पे नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया में बारिश कराती है कौन सी विंड्स ओ दी वेस्टर्न साइक्लोन तभी अभी लाइक अ फ्यू डेज अगो इन द नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न पार्ट इंडिया में बारिश हुई थी इन द मंथ ऑफ दिसंबर हुई थी देयर वाज रेन and people were saying ki thandi ka mausam mein barish ho rahi hai why even now in february because of the western cyclonic disturbances and jo ye north mein hoti hai ye rabi crops ki growth mein bahut help karti hai to hum isko mahavat bhi kehte hain peninsular region does not get well defined winter because of the moderating influence of the sea obviously itni barish nahi hoti hai because सी होता है दो तमिलनाडु में बहुत बारिश होती है तमिलनाडु में बारिश होती है बिकॉज ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंस जब नॉर्थ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंस जारी होती है तब होती है हॉट वेदर सीजन समर्स वो समर सीजन इज फ्रॉम मार्च टू मई ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ग्लोबल हीट बेल्ट shifts to the north because of apparent movement of the sun sun jahan hi laga wahan pe itc jab shift hoga during summer temperature rise and air pressure falls in the northern part of the country towards the end of the may an elongated low pressure area develops in the region which extends from the thar desert yeah from the thar desert in the northwest to patna in the chhota nagpur plateau इंडिया के सेंटर में यहाँ पे बहुत हीट होती है और यहाँ पे बहुत हीट होती है तो यहाँ पे ना अपर एयर सर्कुलेशन चलनी शुरू हो जाती है ठीक है इस ट्रक में कुछ हलचल होने लग जाती है ओके देन डस्ट ट्रॉम्स बहुत डस्ट होती है एंड डस्ट ट्रॉम्स भी होती है एंड लोकल लाइक थंड स्ट्रॉम्स भी होते हैं कंप्लीट बाय वॉयलेंट विंस टोरियंटल रेनफॉल्स एंड हेल अब ये जो वेस्ट बंगाल में होती है ना ये थंडर स्ट्रॉम्स बारिश जब ये होती है वेस्ट बंगाल में 
इनको हम कहते हैं काल बैसाखी प्री मानसून शावर अखोमैन एंड द सम सीजन केरला एंड कर्नाटक दे आर ऑफन कॉल्ड मैंगो शावर्स एज दे हेल्प इन द राइटनिंग ऑफ मैंगोस मैंगोस की राइटनिंग में ये हेल्प करते हैं कौन सी यस प्री मानसून शावर्स इंडिया के साउथ पार्ट में छोटे 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 अच्छी वाली बारिश होती है राइट right? जो हेल्प करता है किसमें मैंगोस की ग्रोथ में तभी हम इसको मैंगो शादी कहते हैं कमिंग ऑन टू एडवांसिंग मानसून द रेनिंग सीजन ओ माई गॉड द रेनिंग सीजन बिगेंस फ्रॉम द अर्ली जून लो प्रेशर कंडीशन जो कि नॉर्थन प्लेन इंटेंसिफाइज एट दिस टाइम इट अट्रैक्ट्स ट्रेड विंड्स फ्रॉम द सदर्न हेमिस्फेयर द साउथ ईस्ट ट्रेड विंड्स अक्रॉस द इक्वेटर ब्लो इन अ साउथ वेस्टर्नली डायरेक्शन इंडियन पेनिनसुला एंड दे ब्रिंग मॉइस्चर टू इंडिया अब भी मैंने एक्सप्लेन करा ऐसे इंडिया में आ जाती है राइट द विंडवर्ड साइड ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट में बहुत बारिश होती है क्योंकि ये सबसे पहले होते हैं जिनको मार पड़ती है राइट राइट सबसे पहले होते हैं ना तो सबसे पहले ये ये तो स्ट्राइक होते हैं विन से अब ऑब्वियस है सबसे पहले सबसे ज्यादा मॉइस्चर तो यहीं पे लूज हो जाएगा विंडवर्ड साइड ठीक है वेर एज डेकन प्लेट्यू और मध्य प्रदेश में भी थोड़ी बहुत बारिश होती है इन स्पाइट लाइन इन द रेन शादो एरिया नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री रिसीव मैक्सिम रेनफॉल माइनाइसरम मेघालय रिसीव द हाइएस्ट रेनफॉल इन द वर्ल्ड द रेनफॉल इन द गंगा वैली डिक्रीजेस फ्रॉम द ईस्ट टू वेस्ट the rainfall in the ganga valley decreases from east to west rajasthan parts get scanty rainfall hum sabko pata hai monsoon tends to have breaks in rainfall dekho kuch din barish hoti hai spells hote hai wet dry spells hote hai kuch din barish hoti hai kuch din barish nahi hoti hai right usko kehte hain wet and dry spells inter interleaf days pe theek hai only alternate days pe barish hoti hai only for a few days and then comes rainless intervals these breaks are because of the movement of monsoon trough idhar and udhar theek hai kyunki jo monsoon trough hai idhar ya udhar niche chala jata hai to thodi koi barish mein kuch days ka gap aa jata hai monsoon is famous for its uncertain energies <coughs> it causes heavy floods in one part of the country it may be responsible for getting drought dekha kitna uncertain hai koi itni barish kar deta hai to koi itni रिट्रीटिंग मॉनसून ऑफ द ट्रांसिशन मॉनसून बाय मॉनसून इज गोइंग नाउ बाय मॉनसून जिस गो ड्यूरिंग अक्टूबर नवंबर द सन अपेरेंटली मूव टूवर्ड्स द सैफ During this period, the monsoon trough is over the northern plain becomes weaker. Up signals, थोड़े weak हो जाते हैं. Low pressure कम हो जाता है. And ठंडा ही है. It starts gradually. Monsoon withdraws from the northern plain by beginning of October. Retreat of monsoon is marked by clear skies and pleasant. This is known as October heat. The temperature begins to fall rapidly in the southern India by the second half. The low pressure conditions over the northwestern move to the Bay of Bengal by November, and it leads to cyclonic disturbance. Have you heard that? Now, here the Coriolis force is due to cyclonic disturbance. It's not just that. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to explain it. Distribution of rainfall. Some of it is more rainfall, some of it is less rainfall. The western coast and the northeastern India receive over 400 centimeter. The annual rainfall is less than 60 cm in western Rajasthan and Gujarat. Haryana and Punjab are also uh, they get low rainfall. Okay? The rest of the country gets moderate rainfall, right? Last topic of the chapter. Yeah, finally. We are at the last topic of the chapter everyone be happy. This is the last topic. And then we'll be done with this huge चैप्टर मॉनसून एज अफाइंग मॉन्स हमने इतना पहले मॉनसून के बारे में भी अपडेट सो मच 
let's appreciate the monsoon the monsoon is so good you know it helps the agriculturists uh, grow their crops right although there are wide variations in the weather parts in across india monsoon brings some unifying influences in india fauna flora they are highly influenced by the monsoon dekhiye kahin zyada barish hoti hai to kahin bahut achhi crops grow hoti hai kahin bahut kam hoti hai to bahut kam you know utni competitive achhi crops nahi hoti hain grow the entire agricultural calendar in india is governed by monsoon most festivals are related to agricultural cycles like baisakhi you know these festivals may be known by different names in different parts of the countries but their celebration is decided by monsoon theek hai barish nahi hogi the crops ripen nahi hoengi it's also said that river valley is carrying rain water and they theek hai alag alag river rivers water leke jaate alag alag जगह से बट आफ्टर ऑल ये एक में तो यूनाइट हो जाती है सो मॉनसून एज अ यूनिफाइंग बॉन्ड थैंक यू वो सी दस क्यूट कैट जंपिंग शी सो हैप्पी दैट दिस चैप्टर गॉट ओवर So finally, this chapter is over, and I have tried my best to explain this chapter to you. And if uh, there is any doubt in this chapter, you have, and if you have any doubt in this chapter, you can comment. You can write it in the comments below. And please don't forget to like the video. You can see. I I don't know how long time I have you know I did not even drink water I'm so tired at least you can give one like to my hard work it's up to you thank you for watching the video if you have any uh, if you have any doubts you can write in the comments and yes my channel is on telegram as well uh, link is in the description you can join my channel and uh, there I post the notes I post the upcoming videos schedules and everything related you can contact me from over there i'll meet you in the next video till then take care and bye bye